Okay, chatting shit episode five. Uh, joined tonight by Liam, James, and Rob. Rob joining for the second time this month. Such is the importance of what he has to say this evening. Um, how are we all? Yeah, not too Very bad. good, mate. Very excited okay. about these pecs tonight. They're all. I think they're. I think they're all amazing. Meta, meta shifters. Yeah. yeah. How, how how we've got five episodes in without any of these being picked is is beyond. Yeah. Me. But, but here we are. Um, Rob, trying to jump straight in with it, mate. Yeah. So my pick is Shadow Vic. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. Can beat Frost last in ones, straight razor leaf. Beats a lot of things in twos. So if you can win the lead, Shadow Vic can be really good for you. Yeah, and the best thing is for me is it beats the Charmers. Well, I think that's huge here. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it takes on Stunfisk as well in the, the twos, I think. It takes on all the fighters. Yeah. In, in the twos. It's got to watch out for flyers. Yeah, and Golbat's a, a problem, but as long as you as long as you win the lead, yeah, it doesn't face yeah. the Golbat. So Yeah, similarly Noctowl as well, like yeah, but again, as James yeah. says. Bring a frost last with it, you sorted that, aren't you? That's it, as long as, long it, as you yeah. line them up, yeah. Yeah. Liam, what you should be on every team. I, I, you've convinced me, mate. That's a really persuasive argument. It's going to be the first first pick I go for now. I, I, I don't see if you're winning, if you're winning a lot of the twos. What what else do you need from one? Yeah, it's, it's a must well, bring. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's up there on PV Poke. Yeah, what is it? Number six, seven, or something like that? Right, like so five or six, isn't it? So yeah, PV Poke well, saying it's good, so it's got to be good. The Sims never lie. No, absolutely. That's something we know for a fact. Yeah. Um, and, and the games always play out exactly as the Sims say as well, don't they? So it's uh, um, yeah. Frostlass never has energy. That's, uh, that's no, 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 no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about that. I wouldn't. Just, Frostlass just, is just, shit just with energy down. anyway. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, well, I think I think that's covered Shadow Vic pretty uh, pretty well, to be honest. Um, has anyone else got any thoughts? That convinced me. No, I, I, I mean, I've always been a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of it in GBL as well. It does a very similar role. Oh, yeah, alongside Bastiard on in another Shadow Razor Leaf, it's brilliant. Ideally, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's the be... most fun, fun way to play as well. Yeah, yeah. That, well, that is true, and that's the important thing. Um, well, let's move on to your pick then, James. What have you got for us? Yeah, so I, I've actually got... I was torn between two, um, but they're, they're linked by, by a typing. Um, I've actually gone for um, Wigglytuff. Oh, okay. So obviously it, it doesn't it doesn't beat Shadow Vic, so you do have to uh, you do have to make sure you line your your rock, your paper, and your scissors up correctly to avoid their Shadow Vic. But um, again, it, it takes on takes on your frost lasses, you know. It, it doesn't care about a Shadow Ball. It's got an ice beam for the the ground types. Um, obviously, you get to loads of them as well with Charm. Uh, it's just a really flexible, versatile man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, beats, beats again most of the matter. I think if you look across everything that's eligible, beats 85 90 percent of them in, in the two ships. Flipping out sounds like a must bring yeah. to me. Sounds like yeah. a must bring. I think so. I, well, I don't think you could build a, a, good, you, uh, a good team without it. If you win the lead with it against a fighter, that easy to pressure for Shadow Vic a bit as well. Well, that's so, it. That's it. I mean, and obviously, you, well you, together. You, know, if you, you just have to win every lead, and then you, you know, go oh, you sorted. It's straightforward from that, yeah. It just makes it all really, really simple. Seven yeah. and zero in tournament tournaments easy, aren't you? So, I don't see how you drop a game, honestly. No, sweeping, I don't, I don't sweeping in no time. Yeah, Liam. But nothing what? can. Just give it both shields, and nothing can stop it. That's true. Give, give it the shields. Are you not tempted by um by faint attack? <laughs> <laughs> not here, no, no. Uh, um, I think in in metas where you've got more confusion users running around, I'd, I'd consider. Yeah, and therefore psychic types. I'd, I'd consider it, but there aren't really a lot of ghosts to pick on here, unless you're looking at like Gola or something. Yeah, yeah, all um, the important things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I mean, Charm, Charm's too good anyway. So why would you run thing to Charm? Charm, well, it's the second highest damage move in the whole game. Um, it's the highest absolute damage. I mean, per turn it's less than Razor Leaf, but per move it's it's more. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I just you think it's. You heard it here first, then. Wiggly Tough is better than Shadow Vic. Um. Well, they're, they're both good. I, I think I think there's a there's a place for both in your in your team. Mm. 
Oh, you just need to give them both two. Just need to give them both two shields. Yeah, I mean, you could use your opponent's two shields, couldn't you? Because they aren't going to use them. Yeah, but I mean, but sh charge moves are overrated, though. Like, why? Why you charge? Well, if, if you can win with if you can win with just fast moves, you don't have to make any complex decisions about which charge move to throw or well, you don't really no have to know anything. Or anything. Yeah, you, you don't just... have to know about type effectiveness or anything, any of that. You just just keep hitting it with charm until it dies, or or tapping resolute. your screen. Yeah. Just keep tapping, yeah. Just keep yeah. tapping, yeah. Strong. That's what I always say. Just, just keep tapping. Strong motto. Strong motto. Yeah. Um, well, uh, Liam, there was, a, there was a lot of talk about, uh, at the beginning of the cup about how Frostlass was going to be really strong and, and Gallade was going to be pretty good here. You, you've got a really good counter pick for these two, haven't you? Oh, would, what, what can't Drapion do against Frostlass? You don't. You don't if it's got an energy lead, who, who, who cares? You, are you, are you're not running that with something like Infestation, are you? Oh, don't be silly. We're gonna right. go straight, straight bite. Bite. Okay, gonna, yeah, for the damage. Gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna put a cheeky bit of fell stinger on there as well. You know, you wanna, Ooh. you wanna ramp, ramp, ramp that bite up. Might as well, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. gonna, you're gonna take on the pressor of ghosts that this meta, this meta throw at you. You know, you're all, gonna all of them, yeah, yeah. You're gonna take on your frost ass, Gengar. Oh. Who, who, who cares? You know, you're just gonna rinse through them. Hey. If you've palmed down a frost loss as well and you've got a couple of foul stingers off, and Medicham's not going to want to take you on either. Uh, uh, not, no, it's not, not when it's you've. Not, it's not resisting the bites, is it? I mean, most fighters resist no. the bites, but. And it, I think we, we, what we've overlooked so far as well is something really important. It beats the best man in the meta, Shadow Bake. Um, let's, not, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here, here Matt, and, and jump in with such a, such a big. I think big those, selling those, point because I think probably that's where the matter's going to fall down. Then they fall to they, these three things because obviously Shadow Vic beats beats Wigglytuff, Wigglytuff beats Drapion, and Drapion beats Shadow Vic. So that's almost mm. that's your your like your rock, your paper, and your scissors right there. Oh, that that's a line of three right there. Yeah, as, as long as you as long as you line them up, I don't. I don't and you win the lead. I don't see how you could get into trouble at all once you've once you've lined them up right. And I'm surprised I've not seen a meta simplified guide with that diagram, because that mm. that's 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 your core, right? Mm. Right there. Matt, Matt could put that on the end of this video, maybe. Uh, I could. I know he'll have a bit of editing time before he puts this up. So. That's true. That's true. Mm. It's yeah. so blatantly really obvious, though, isn't it? So, would you want to put that out for everybody to know the strat? Well, you, you say that's that, but we're you what, want, five, you six want episodes in, mate, and nobody's nobody's brought these these essential picks up. And the thing is, I think everyone's a bit nervous about about going into too much detail about these picks because they don't want to give people all the information they need to win. They want to keep it to themselves. So um, I think it's, it's good, important work we're doing here, showing people how to use these. these oh, yeah. Um, but inter interesting you say about that victory that victory bell, uh, Wigglytuff, Drapion, Rock, Paper, Scissors, because my pick's going to break it right up. Um, my pick's really? Pyro. Yeah, Pyro with Fire Fang. Um, I mean, what's your, what's, what's your Razor Leaf or Charmer doing versus that? Well, you, obviously, you'd have to just not not line it up against that, wouldn't you? Yeah, but I'm going to win the lead, James. Ah, uh, yeah, of course you are. Yeah, that's, no, that's a problem. I, I don't see any way around it. Can you line up with four? <laughs> what was what was that, Liam? Can you line up with four. You know, all four, all four, all four picks. You, you you've got to you sacrifice <laughs> a sacrifice a shield, maybe. All four in a line. Well. I, I, I guess I guess what Pyro fits is that if if people are bringing the the obvious um, razor leaf charm bite core, then where Pyro Pyro's your your core breaker to that really your sort of flexible pick that can beat beat everything in the meta situationally. So maybe that's maybe that's even your safe switch Pyro. It just sounds like a really good safe switch. It, yeah. Just in case your opponent wins the lead instead mm. of. I mean, I mean God forbid. Yeah, they shouldn't, obviously, because no. you've got one of these amazing picks. But just in case they they somehow, maybe if they've got them as well. Mm. Yeah, that's true. That, fle that flexibility. I think these picks are all about flexibility. Yeah. 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 You could. Your teams could. Your teams could fall apart without without these four picks. Um, mm. Yeah. 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 Well, nice one, guys. I think that's um, some really important information that we've covered there. Um, I think that's four picks for everybody's team, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was really confident. Sorry, mate. 
Less worry about now. You've just got to find two more put on your sex. You've got four. Well, and four will win you every game. You, you need just two more. Just making up the numbers. Just yeah. making up the numbers with the other two, aren't you? you yeah. You're not going to bring them. You can... Two ten CP mons and just play with the four. Yeah, you don't need ma- nothing Magic Arp and Phoebus, you sorted. Yeah. Just win the lead. You're fine. That's it. That's it. Yeah, get the darts out. Throw them at the dartboard. Yeah. 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 Shadow, I hear, I hear shadow. Uh, I hear shadow and gloom is pretty good as well. Um, yeah, it's not shadow vet though, is it? I, I, to be honest, well, it's, it's, it's not shadow vet. It's got those bigger hitting charge moves. Cause obviously, the, the thing about razor leafers is the, the the big charge moves that they get to. And you've got like moon blast and stuff, which. But do you drink. want the charge moves when you can just tap straight through anything? I know, I know. I'm just thinking that if your opponent's got a drapey on or something. Mm. Having access to Moon Blast for the Dark type, it might just and swing. Just could, um, just could tip it. But why do we need Moon Blast if you've got uh, Wiggly Tough? Yeah, oh, that's true. It, it's, it's a good you're point. Gonna, mm. I, I didn't think of that at all. You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose that big hit in Acid Spray over mm. a, a double a double charm move. When we're not, we're not. No, you, you're you're absolutely absolutely right, Liam. I, I, I didn't think of that at all. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Do you know what? I was I'm gutted actually because I was really confident going into this that I was going to sweep a load of tournaments with this with this strap, but now it's out there for for everyone to know. So, yeah, sorry, mate. Yeah. Well, I think I it. think the people need to know. We do, yeah, that's it. We do this for the people. We do this. It'd for be the too people. too oh, overpowered yeah. to keep it to ourselves. So yeah, nice one. Well, thank you all very much for joining me, and uh, I'll catch you all later. Cheers for having us. Thanks it's been a lot. pleasure. Thanks, Anytime. Thanks for getting the news out there, mate.